Good evening. Thank you for taking the time to listen tonight. If the people do not, in the end, choose me, so be it. The outcome will have been fair, and the people will have spoken. If they choose me, so be it. I would then commit, and do commit, to bringing this country together. But whatever the outcome, let the people have their say, and let us listen. And uh, we look forward to going forward together in the interest of the country. But before we go, let me just add one other point. This really is about the, the larger principle that I outlined, but I want you to know that I, on a personal basis, ignoring votes means ignoring democracy itself. And if we ignore the votes of thousands in Florida in this election, how can you or any American have confidence that your vote will not be ignored in a future election? That is all we have asked since Election Day, a complete count of all the votes cast in Florida. Not recount after recount, as some have charged, but a single full and accurate count. We haven't had that yet. Great efforts have been made to prevent the counting of these votes. Lawsuit after lawsuit has been filed to delay the count and to stop the counting for many precious days between Election Day and the deadline for having the count finished. And this would be over long since, except for those efforts to block the process at every turn. That is, that is so correct, because what, what, what we're about here is, is obviously to protect the right to vote. In all our hands now rests the future of America's faith in our self-government. The American people have shown dignity, restraint, and respect as the process has moved forward. This is America. When votes are cast, we count them. We don't arbitrarily set them aside because it's too difficult to count them. Uh, it will take some time for Americans to chew over the gore side of this, uh, to wonder about whether fairness is, is, is being served. And the Supreme Court uh, de uh, deliberations and ruling uh, looming out there for the end of the week will keep this open, I think, from a public opinion point of view at minimum for at least one more week before people are completely ready to shut down.